What's up guys, Rob Shukov here with Resort Fitness. We're gonna to talk today about a little project I did. It's gonna be, this is going to, well, it's a very relatively high tech uh, weekend project. Really, I say project, I was just screwing around with my new uh, naked body scanner. It, it takes, basically measures all, takes all your measurements, runs it through some sophisticated algorithm with these 3D cameras and everything, and then tells you what your estimated body fat is, tells you all of your measurements within a, a quarter inch accuracy, allegedly, I'll talk about that in a second. Great, a really cool uh, tool that I, I will review eventually once I, again, once I'm confident in it. But I was screwing with it. I, I got this idea, I wanted to see how, how many times I could, I could modify my body composition to make it look like I was either leaner or, or fatter, heavier than, well not heavier, but you know, chunkier, thicker than, um, than, I, actually, than I actually am. Um, basically, I just manipulated my body composition, perceived body composition, uh, throughout the day, throughout a 24-hour period. I took one baseline and six uh, subsequent scans. So I just want to tell you, now, this is going to be, like I said, a very low-tech, I think I said it, a very low-tech uh, presentation on this video. I have, literally, I have printouts. Um, I, I, I try to do a screen cap on my iPad and all this stuff, it, it, it got all screwy, I didn't feel like messing with it. So, what you can do though is go to my website, I'll put a link in the comments, and I, I did like a full write up on this, and you could view the images if you're interested. You could view like a full chart that has all the measurements and everything, and again, stay tuned for the, uh, for the review on the mirror. So, let me just talk about what I've been talking about. Um, first, I took a baseline scan. Again, yeah, I'm showing you a printout here. And that guy right there, that little fellow right there, that is the uh, that is one of the, the thugs from Chinatown and, and Big, Big Trouble in China. He's in the uh, the Lords of Death, um, Sweet Shades. Anyways, you see, you got my body fat. Now this this thing shows all sorts more information. It has like a you could spin the guy around. The guy being me. That's actually me. This is what I look like as as, as T1000. Um, this is what I look like if I'm made of liquid metal. And but I just again, I just took a print out. Edited it out, you know. Sorry, <laughs> whatever. Uh, it's a family channel. You can still 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 see the print. Uh, anyways, so you got body fat, estimated body fat. Again, it's all measurements. It doesn't look for cuts or anything. I'll talk about the body fat reading in a second. I got um, fat mass, uh, lean mass, and weight. Again, it shows a bunch of other data. So this is the baseline. This is like me, nine o'clock in the morning after a nice trip to the loo. Uh, or the commode here in uh, southeastern Ohio, and um, and a couple cups of coffee, relatively fasted. Now this thing it takes measurements. Now they're working this out with big guys like myself with big butts and big legs. It is basically measuring my hips, like down here, my upper thigh here, and my lower thigh here, which throws off the algorithm. So my body fat is most likely a little bit lower than it's actually reading. But as long as it's consistent within scans, I don't really care. It's, a, it's just a little vanity thing. So here's my baseline, 20.4% body fat. All right, this is me after a five minute cold shower. So my, my theory was you have a uh, cold shower, uh, vasoconstriction, so basically all the blood from your, around your skin goes to your organs to protect your organs. It's your body's like natural response to cold, to a, to a perceived threat. And when it does that, it tends to tighten up your, tighten up your skin. Um, it closes your pores. Uh, again, you have less liquid, so to speak, in uh, on the surface in the in the epidermis. So, <clears throat> uh, I thought it would make. I always felt like I looked leaner in the mirror. I wanted to see how it looked on here, and I was pretty astounded. Dropped it from again twenty point four to eighteen point eight percent body fat. Again, for the fiftieth time. This is not my actual body fat, and even if it did get my scan, my, my measurements correct, this still wouldn't be my actual body fat. This is just a, 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 a proprietary algorithm created by, by Naked, but still, like I said, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, consistent. So, uh, what it did was, you know, it, it's re it really cool. I just thought that was cool. You can read about my, my thoughts on that on the, um, on that, on the link, link I put below. So, that's, that's cold shower. So, that, that did what I thought it would. Uh, then we have, my hypothesis was correct, then we have uh, 
This was after a hot shower. This was like five minutes after the cold shower scan. Uh, my body fat, perceived body fat shot back up 0.1% uh, over the baseline. Shot up almost 2% over the cold shower read. And that is because, I mean, okay, let me just back up for a second. I realize this is just like Bush League science here. This is like maybe like fifth grade science fair. I, I didn't, you know, it's just me. I didn't scan multiple times to reproduce the scans or to make sure that it was reproducible. I didn't have p-values or anything like that. This is just me screwing around on a Saturday with my new toy. Okay, so just any science buffs out there, I realize this is, you know, this is just, this is silly. But I really do think it's thought-provoking. I do think it suggests some actual science. It could be, you know, I might actually do something legitimate down the road. So I just wanted to say that. I was, um, was I throwing this, these, this information around. But anyways, what happened here, I think, was when you're, when you're hot, not just hot, a hot shower, but when you're, when you're hot at all, it could be from exercise and your body temperature rises, your skin, you have vasodilation, getting at the opposite, I guess, of, of vasoconstriction. You have vasodilation where it does the opposite. You have blood going to your skin and your muscles. You have, uh, and away from your organs, um, well, I guess skin is an organ, but you know what I mean. Um, <laughs> and your pores open up. Anyways, they tell you, at least in my, when I got my first personal training certification, they say don't measure people's body fat after like a cardiovascular workout, uh, where they go on a jog or something, because they'll be all sweaty, they'll be vasodilated, and they're going to have a higher read than they normally would. So after just five minutes in a hot shower, again, well, you, saw, you see the results there. That's a hot shower. Okay? Next, what is this? Oh, yeah, so this is posterior pelvic tilt. This is um, basically what I was doing. I want to see how posture can affect things. Um, so, I basically, I made myself look like this. A very common posture you see where basically your, your butt kind of tucks under you, and people tend to have rounded shoulders and a little bit of a forward neck position. You see this all the time. I see it all the time with kids, unfortunately. Uh, you know, looking at devices, and I, don't, I hate to be that guy, but it really does play a role. And you see it with people, you see it with people of all ages, especially anybody. You see it for people, with very fit people who just, just bench press all the time. That's like the only thing they do, and this is how they, this is how they will look. So anyways, uh, it was a little exaggerated, but my body fat, again, it went up, with the measurement anyway, it went up. I had a, 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 a bigger waist, bigger stomach, smaller chest. Uh, ladies, I mean, I, I hate to be a pig. I kind of talked about this in my in my uh, in that write up I did on the website. But you know, if you want to make things look everybody, if you want to make things look better in this area, if you want to look more confident, if you want to have a bigger size, so to speak, you know, get your shoulders back, get in a good position, align your. Okay, I could talk about this forever, but this is how it looks. As far as how it looks um, to the machine, both the machine and I think I look fatter. All right, moving on. This is anterior pelvic tilt. This is like hyperlordosis of the, lumbar, of, the, of the lower back, right? So people with like super tight hip flexors kind of have this position. I'm, ex I'm exaggerating a little bit, but not much. I mean, I have, I see folks all the time that have that uh, going on. And uh, it, one thing I found is that, so first of all, this is the highest body fat percentage, perceived body fat percentage, 23% again over the baseline of uh, 20.4. So pretty significant. Um, well, significant in layman speak, not scientific speak. Um, but one thing I found that was kind of interesting, it looks like I'm sticking out my stomach, but what I was really doing was hyperextending my spine on purpose. And I cannot, what I found was I can't, you can't really suck your stomach in or you can't engage it very, uh, at least I couldn't very, um, uh, adequately. So it, 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 not only does it make you look fatter, but it, I think it kind of makes it dangerous for, for movement. I mean, um, you, you got to depend on your core and a, a nice engaged core to protect your, your spine. And if your spine is overextended and can't be properly uh, protected by a, a properly engaged core, you know, so you gotta, you gotta straighten this out here. The, if it's hip flexors, you know, Unlock those things, whatever you got to do. Everybody talks about having a strong core. I'm going off a of soapbox here. Of course, you know I would do that. 
Uh, it talks about having a strong core, but I think a strong core is kind of worthless if you can't engage it properly, so take care of that. All right, anyways, this is right after a workout. This is kind of like a more hyper, hyper, hypertrophy, like bodybuilding style workout. Uh, I put a write-up of what the workout was if you're interested in the, uh, the write-up, put a breakdown. But anyways, uh, about an hour working out, full body, and uh, I got a little bit of a pump going on here. And lower body fat, higher weight, uh, mainly just because I ate a couple meals before the workout. This is a, a few hours after my baseline scan. But like all the way through, like my chest and shoulders are about two inches bigger than measurement. My arms were about an inch bigger. Uh, everything, everything was just bigger. Even the, probably even the little uh, Chinatown thug. Um, so that's what I call myself, the Chinatown thug. Uh, so that was cool. I, I expected to see that. Like if you ever want to take like an after picture of yourself or a contest or something, do it after a really hard workout. Now I know what I just said about vasodilation. What I mean is a hard resistance training workout where you get that pump, you know, um, where, you, where all your muscles are just completely full of, of, of fluid and, and whatnot and just, just get look, you look much bigger. So you see that compared to the baseline, pretty, pretty significant, pretty cool. Okay, lastly, this is uh, 24 hours after the baseline. My body fat dropped a little bit, just a little bit, but I look a lot more full and I am, I am, what's the 249 for the first scan and 257, I'm reading that backwards. 257, so I gained a lot of weight in that 24 hour period. What I did here was ate a bunch of junk food and drank some beers, uh, which I don't normally do. Uh, that was on Saturday night, so last Saturday night. Um, if you ever read Ronnie Coleman, or not read, saw the video of Ronnie Coleman the King, or you ever talked to any like bodybuilders, like pre contest, sometimes people, they'll talk about eating a bunch of junk food. A bunch of doesn't have to be junk food, but a bunch of like simple carbohydrates and just basically they have like depleted muscles They top them back off real quickly with their glycogen stores and you get this fullness effect and and You know, I don't know. I don't pretend to know a ton about it But I wanted to kind of play with that a little bit the alcohol was for uh, Ronnie Coleman uh, Kevin Lavone, I think it was was talking about Ronnie Coleman before his first mr. Olympia title and he ate like a bunch of pizza with him and drank some vodka and he was, the next day was like super, his muscles were full and he was even leaner and it was kind of, you know, this is bro science, but probably a combination of, of uh, a little bit of dehydration was the leanness from the alcohol and, and then the, the pizza, you know, fullness of the muscles. So I, I basically ate a bunch of pound cake and uh, uh, Girl Scout Samoas and a, a few beers. I'd say about uh, two slices of pound cake. 10 Samoas and eight beers, something like that, Budweiser, diesel baby. Uh, anyways, so now I was a little jigglier the past, the, 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 the past couple days, but the 24 hour, or the a few hours after my body fat was actually lower even though my weight was much higher. Um, again, you already heard my spiel on it's not actual body fat, but you, you know what I mean. So that's it, I just wanted to share that with you guys. You know, check out the link if you thought this was interesting or if you want to see a little more information on what I had to say. A lot more of the same. But uh, check out that link. Um, and look for a review on the Naked Mirror sometime in the next, I don't know, next few weeks. Uh, let me know what you think about this. Uh, again, this super, excuse me, lay and kind of lame as well. But uh, just messing around. Thought you guys might like it. All right, Rob Shoecraft, 3 Storm Fitness. Please subscribe to my videos. You guys have a great day.